The congregation of First Baptist Church returned to its worship center in downtown Dallas for the first time since a fire tore through its historic sanctuary. Good evening, everyone. I'm Blake Hanson. Work has been underway at what is left of that historic sanctuary. And today, church leaders at the worship center shared new information about what it hopes to salvage in the more than century and a half old structure. Fox 4's Amelia Jones live with that new information. Amelia. Blake, when the First Baptist Dallas Church announced that it was going to rebuild the sanctuary, church leaders wanted to keep as much of the original historic building as possible. Those preservation efforts start this week by removing the steeple that was untouched by the fire. And I pray that this will be a life-changing word. Sunday services at First Baptist Dallas felt like a homecoming. For the first time since the fire that burned down the church's historic sanctuary, the congregation was able to worship in the main downtown worship center. There were like three or four times today that the people got on their feet and wild applause, not for themselves, but for the goodness of God in protecting us through these last two weeks. Last month, a fire started in the basement of the historic sanctuary. Dallas Fire Rescue is still investigating what caused it. Thankfully, no one was inside when it happened. Well, it's been a great reminder the last two weeks that the church is not about bricks and mortar. It's about people. While crews work to clean up the area, the congregation held worship services at the K. Bailey Hutchison Convention Center in downtown Dallas. Senior Pastor Robert Jeffress announced the church plans to rebuild the sanctuary in the same location. That square of downtown Dallas is going to continue to be used for ministry for many years to come. Pastor Jeffress says the church wants to preserve as much of the historic building as they can. They hope to keep the original facade intact for the new sanctuary. This week, the church will remove the steeple and keep it safe until it can be placed on top of the new building. I mean, there's a lot of work to be done on these six blocks of downtown Dallas, but we're making great progress and uh, our people are just excited about what God's going to do in the future. We're still waiting to hear what day this week the steeple will be removed. Pastor Jeffress says that the church expects to be back on schedule in two weeks. This includes everything on the calendar from classes to all worship services. Blake, back to you. All right, Amelia, thanks.